Hi everyone! Let's take a look at the new updates of Google Jamboard. If you have been using Google Jamboard, you might be surprised that it now has additional tools in its toolbar. Now you will be able to insert shapes like circle, square, triangle, diamond, rounded rectangle, half circle, bar, and arrow. And you can also insert text box. The other tools are still here, like pen, erase, select, sticky note, add image, and laser. I have a tutorial video that shows how to use the old tools. It also has a demo of how Jamboard is used for online classes. You can check the link in the description box of this video. Today, I am going to show how to use the latest additional tools in Jamboard. I am a computer subject instructor and I teach flowcharting. Now that shapes are included, I can easily make one in Jamboard and have my students create their own in new frames but on the same jam or file. This is one example I just recently created. I will create this again for this demo. First, let's add circle. Then we can change its fill color. Let's choose color green. And we can also change its border color. So this is darker green. Notice that the fill colors are like light colors and the border colors are darker colors. Next, we can add the text. Notice that at the top, we have formatting tools. You can choose left align, center align, and right align. You can also change the font color. You can even change the size of the text. Now let's add an arrow. We can also change its fill color and its border color. Suppose the next step is to ask for a number. Let's choose the square symbol. Let's change the fill color and the border color. I'm going to add text. Notice that there is a three dot symbol at the upper right side of the text. When it is selected, you can see edit, duplicate, delete, and order. Now I would like to put an arrow on this side. I can either go to the shape and choose arrow or I can just simply click this arrow and then choose the three dot symbol here and select duplicate. Then I can move it to the right side. Suppose the next symbol is a decision symbol. So I am going to select diamond. I'm going to draw it here. I'll change the fill color. And then I'm going to put the text. And I'm going to repeat the arrow. Aside from clicking the duplicate option in the more options, you can also press Ctrl D. Again, that's Ctrl D. I'm going to add another one to put at the bottom of the diamond. I can rotate it using the circle symbol here. And then I'm going to put another square symbol. If the answer to this question is true, then what will be displayed is failed. So I am going to put that here. I am also going to put another square at the bottom 
And I am also going to put text. But this time, it will be past. And then I'm going to add another arrow. So what I did is just press the Control D. I'm going to duplicate this too. And then increase its length. Same goes here. And then I am going to put another circle here. So I'm just going to press Control D here. And I'll put it there. I'll duplicate the text and I'll just change it to another word which is end. I would like to put text here which is example of flowchart. I can change its size by going to the formatting tool and I'll select title. So you see it's bigger now. I'm going to put square at the back of this text. To do that, I'll just simply click the shape and then select square. I can change its color and its border color. To put the text on top of the shape, I can go to the more options, select order, and select send to back. Now you see the text is in front of the shape. After creating this, I can go to the share button at the top right corner, then add my students' email addresses here, so they can make a new frame to make their own flowchart. I hope this example will help you to know how to use the new tools of Jamboard and how to incorporate Google Jamboard to online classes. Thank you! Please don't forget to leave your feedback. Please consider liking and sharing this video too. Again, this is Victor. Thank you all for watching.